Romelu Lukaku scored his 37th and 38th goals for Belgium in their 3-0 win over Panama. Age 25, he is already Belgium's top goal scorer. But there are some that are still willing Romelu Lukaku to fail. And I really think he deserves a hell of a lot more praise for what he's done already in his career, what he's doing now, and what he will definitely go on to do as well. Age 25, Lukaku is already Belgium's all-time top goal scorer with 38 goals in 70 appearances. And that's ahead of Bernard Verhoef, who scored 61 goals in 30 appearances, aged just 25. And his goals against Panama were fantastic. You know, he had zero service in that first half. Really little. Belgium were not playing towards Lukaku. In the second half, it changed. Belgium changed. Started playing towards Lukaku. All of a sudden, he scores two goals. One, a header off a fantastic cross from De Bruyne. And his second goal, for me, is a quintessential Lukaku goal. Power and pace on the break. Excellent finish. Dinked it over the goalkeeper. Had everything. The defender could not get near him. And this season at Manchester United, we've seen Lukaku grow so much as a player, as an individual. I always considered him a great goal scorer, but not a great footballer. But at United this year, his all-round game massively improved after he came back from injuries and suspensions towards the tail end of the season. Yet, Lukaku is still heavily, heavily criticised and, for me, not given enough praise. Now, if you haven't already read it, Romelu Lukaku did a piece for the Players' Tribune where he goes into detail about his upbringing, his childhood, his struggles with his family, everything that's gone on in his life and his career to date that have helped shape him, helped give him the tough, strong mentality that has helped push him through his career to date. And it really was a wonderful piece in terms of giving context as to what Lukaku is as a footballer and who Lukaku is as a person. There was one particular story where Lukaku was explaining how he once came home and saw his mum mixing water into milk and that was when he realised that they had no money. He was broken. He made a promise to himself then as a young kid that I'm going to make it as a footballer. And then he made his debut when he was 16 for Anderlecht. Age 25 now, he's already Belgium's top goal scorer. And in the celebration against Panama, he did this. And this was for his mum. It was a celebration for his mum. And everything that he has done to his career has been for his mum. And it's, it's... Look, I love Lukaku already. I really, really do. Because I think Lukaku's... So many people want him to fail. Yet it hasn't stopped him having the career so far to date, you know. Obviously, it all started at Anderlecht, then he moved to Chelsea, then he went to West Brom, then he went to Everton, and it was from Everton where he joined Manchester United. And he nearly scored 30 goals in his debut season. Were it not for a little bit of an injury towards the end, I think he would have got 30 goals in his debut season. The first striker to do that since Robin Van Persie when United won the league back in Fergie's last year in charge. But for me, Lukaku is still way, way over-criticised. And he's even said it in that piece for the Players' Tribune, saying that there are some Belgian fans that are willing him to fail. But it doesn't take him downwards. It doesn't take him into a spiral of negativity. He uses that as strength. And you can see that in how he plays. You know, he might not be the captain of Belgium, but he plays like a captain on the pitch. And he does that for Manchester United as well. Lukaku really is a world-class striker in the making. You know, age 25, he's going to be Belgium's centre forward for the next five years. And this is a team which literally has the golden generation. They've got Vertonghen and Vermaelen at the back. They've got Toby Alderweireld there. And then you're going Carrasco, you're going De Bruyne, you're going Hazard, you're going Lukaku. Players everywhere. Merchant just scored that wonderful goal against Panama. And Lukaku is going to be the centre forward, the main striker in that team. He's already Belgium's top goal scorer at 25. If he goes on to another four or five seasons, goes to another couple of World Cups and Euros, he could bag another 30 goals and become so far ahead as Belgium's all-time top goal scorer. It's going to be basically impossible for anyone to catch him. And then he's going to be Man United centre forward for a few years to come. And this team that Mourinho is building is exciting. And Lukaku is going to be the focal point of that. Now, I don't think he's a world-class striker yet, but I've seen so much progress of him as a striker and as an all-round footballer in one year at Manchester United that I'm confident in two to three years time when he's in 27, 28, Lukaku will be world class. And he will be one of the best strikers in the world. 
How can you not support that guy? Especially when you look at the context of his backstory and everything that Lukaku has been through that's got him to this point has helped make him the man and the striker that he is today. I just think he's unnecessarily criticised by Belgian fans, clearly, fans of other football teams, some United fans as well. You know, I've criticised Lukaku at certain points this season when I've seen poor performances. But everything now, reading this story on the Players' Tribune really has given me context as to why Lukaku deserves more praise for everything that he's been through to date to make him the player that he is and the world-class striker that he will become for both club and country in the red of Manchester United as the Red Devils and of course Belgium's nickname is the Red Devils as well. So I think it's about time everybody really started praising Lukaku because he really does deserve it.